This video covers setting up an environment for programming an ESP32 Node MCU. You can find a link to the written guide on our website that goes along with this video. In the process of learning MicroPython for myself, I've used many different setups for programming microcontrollers. Through my journey, I found that the most streamlined and simple way of programming a microcontroller with MicroPython is through a program called Thani. Thani is a Python IDE that keeps the process of programming a microcontroller simple, which is great for beginners. Let's download and install Thani now. If you are on Linux, I recommend installing Thani through the Python package manager pip. Otherwise, on Windows and Mac OS X, I recommend downloading the installer from the Thani website. Let's download and install Thani now. Go to thani.org and click on the download link for your operating system. Go to your downloads and execute the installer. Here you can browse a location for the installed files. Then click Next and Install. Let's also get the latest MicroPython firmware for ESP32s. Go to micropython.org, then go to the Downloads page. Select Generic ESP32 Module, then under Firmware with ESP IDF v 3.x, select the file closest to the top labeled as just Generic and without Unstable in the name. Take note of the location of this binary file. We will need it later in the guide. Plug your ESP32 NodeMCU into your computer with the micro USB cable and launch Thani. In Thani, navigate to Run Select Interpreter. Under the Which Interpreter or Device Should Thani Use for Writing Your Code label, select MicroPython ESP32. Next, select your NodeMCU's port under the Port label. If you do not know your NodeMCU's port, you can find it on Windows through the Device Manager. Scroll down to find a Ports Common LPT section and expand it. Here I can see a Silicon Labs device with port COM6. To verify this, I can unplug the NodeMCU and see it disappear, and plug it in again and see it reappear with COM6. If you are on Mac OS X or Linux, you can find out how to find your device's port on the How to Find Your Device's Port guide on our website. I will link this in the video's description. Now, click on the button that says Open the Dialog for Installing or Upgrading MicroPython on your device. Select your device's port again and browse for the MicroPython firmware that you downloaded earlier for the firmware field. Make sure that Erase Flash before installing is checked, then click Install. When the Erasing Flash dialog appears, press and hold the Boot button on the ESP32 Node MCU until you see the text start to change. Then you can release the button. If you do not see a button labeled as Boot, press and hold the button on the left side of the Node MCU when the USB port is facing up. Thani will now erase any existing firmware and then flash the MicroPython firmware on your Node MCU. This may take a few minutes. After the firmware has finished installing, you may close all of the dialogs. Now, at the bottom of the Thani window, in the tab labeled Shell, you should see a REPL ready for input indicated by three greater than signs. If you do not see this, press the stop button at the top of Thani. Let's write a quick Hello World program to demonstrate MicroPython on an ESP32 Node MCU. Write the following code into the editor window in Thani. This code blinks the built-in LED on GPIO pin 2 10 times. When done writing the code, navigate to File, Save As, select MicroPython device, and name the file main.py, then click OK. It is important to name the file main.py because MicroPython always runs boot.py first, then looks for main.py to run next. After the program file is saved to the ESP32 node MCU, run the program by pressing the reset button located on the top right of the device. On my node MCU, this button is labeled as EN. You should see the built-in LED blinks on and off 10 times. You've now written and run your first program for the ESP32 node MCU using MicroPython. I encourage you to experiment by writing your own code in main.py. This concludes this guide. If you want to check out more of our guides, head on over to micronote.tech. If you want to support the creation of more guides and kits, you can follow us on Twitter or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Or you can buy a kit from our Etsy store. Any support is greatly appreciated. Lastly, we want to start building Micronote into a learning community in a couple of ways. First, 
you have any questions or discussion ideas, you can post them in the community Discord. Second, we want to start adding community content to our website. If you've worked on a project that you think others can learn from, fill out the community submission Google form to be considered for a community post. Links to our social media, Discord server, Etsy store, and community submission form can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.